Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, if you find yourself in need of an ER visit, we're about to find out from Dr. Bruce and, and Nurse Carla from, from Clark Regional Medical Centre and what it is to be involved in the emergency centre. Bruce, welcome to the show. Thanks, Troy. Welcome to the show, my Thank friend. Thank you. Okay, Thank I want to just ask you very quickly, you're a board-certified emergency medicine physician. Correct. Can you explain to everyone at home what that is? Because I actually didn't know either. Sure. Um, emergency medicine is especially in a fairly new specialty um, in uh, the U.S. Um, I'm from Winchester and did my emergency medicine training at the University of Kentucky. Yes. Uh, and then came back to um, Clark Regional to practice. Um, emergency medicine, when, when you're in that specialty and in that residency, you're, you're learning uh, a lot about critical care and trauma uh, specifically. Um, on top of just general um, medical cases that we see daily in the emergency department. I got you. And what's the demographic area of Clark Regional? Who do you service there? Well, typically, of course, the Clark County area, but also everyone coming in off Mountain Parkway, uh -huh. um, those east of Clark County coming in from 64. We see a wide variety, a wide range of... I got you. I wanted to ask a question, it's, it's not on my list here, but I'm going to sure. <laughs> throw you a little curveball here. When you say you service that area, people who are sitting at home who might start feeling the, you know, maybe the signs of a heart attack or maybe broken their arm, why is it better to go to the closest emergency room like yours rather than drive all the way into Lexington? What, sure. what are the issues with that? You know, time is, can be a critical factor. Time. Um, in, in certain diagnoses and certain um, problems that people are having. Uh, like you said with uh, chest pain, people that are having heart attacks, you know, that, that time can be critical where we can provide uh, medications that, they, that may save their life uh, instead of driving uh, further and we can, we can intervene and, and um, um, significantly help them or, or save their and life. Far, and that's the thing of trying to make sure that you can save their life. How many people are you seeing a day or a week at Clark Regional in the emergency rooms? About we're 90 a day. About 90, 90 people a day come into emergency rooms. Mm -hmm. What are some of the symptoms that people are coming in for? Apart from the obvious, everyone, like broken arms. Sure. Or you know, it's do very, they come in for a flu checkup? It's or very, uh, absolutely, mm -hmm. they absolutely do. Um, in, um, it's very seasonal, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, there's, there's what we call trauma season in the, in the spring and summer season. Um, this is kind of the fall season where people are not necessarily um, out riding um, ATVs and um, doing things in yeah, uh, right. the outdoors, right? Yeah. So we're seeing a lot more illnesses and uh, people coming in for um, just general sickness. A lot, of, a lot of flu, we're starting to see that, and uh, children with uh, respiratory syncytial virus or RSV. Um, okay. So we, we see a lot of respiratory issues. Okay, and tell me, what's your role as a nurse within the ER rooms? Um, our role, um, as far as nursing goes, though it kind of sets Clark Regional apart from some of the other hospitals, is um, our nurses are uh, certified um, in trauma nursing, emergency nursing for pediatrics. Uh, we also have a national certification emergency nurses. Uh, we have two nurses that are certified as sexual assault nurse examiners. Wow. So uh, we, we, we are equipped to take care of all patients in that come to our area. And the accredit accreditation and programs that you service over there, mm -hmm. why is that so great? What stands out from the other hospitals? We're always pushing for that next accreditation. Uh, we recently got our chest pain accreditation. Uh, we standardize a lot of our processes, um, and we're looking forward to being stroke certified as well as um, in our trauma, uh, pushing more for our pediatric accreditation. What's the buzz like? Like I, and I was saying to you before, Dr. Bruce, that it must be exhilarating when you know we see all these shows the good doctors, which I'm addicted to. Sure. Um, and you see them all roll in a, into the emergency room. What's it like? You work long hours, overnight. How do you get through it? Um, you know, the reason I went into emergency medicine was to care for those who are sick and dying. Mm. Um, but we also see uh, those people with general illnesses. And I think what, um, what kind of gets us through it is knowing that at the end of the day, we make big differences in people's lives, uh, not only um, life-saving, uh, but then also just the, the human aspect of it. 
and um, talking with people and, and trying to understand each individual situation. Got you. Well, if you want to find out more information about Clark Regional Hospital, there it all is up on the screen, everyone. As we say, it's better to go to your closest hospital if you're in the Clark area as well. There's all the phone number there as well, and the phone and the address. Oh, it's fantastic. You've got a great website as well, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for you. being here. We appreciate Thank it. You. Coming up, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees have been announced. Plus, John Semmes is expecting another bundle of joy. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> More details after the break, everyone.